What's up guys? Welcome back to another one. All right, so this one I'm actually pretty excited for. I've never watched any of their videos. Not gonna lie, I hardly know these guys. So this is going to be a genuine reaction. First off, these guys go by Explorers of the Unknown. Super chill guys. I've talked to Sean, which I'm assuming is like the main guy, the editor. Let's go ahead and jump into this video. And it is called Something Did Not Want Us Here, The McCurdy Schoolhouse. All right, let's get it. In tonight's video, we will be investigating some of the most haunted locations in Gettysburg. And what we capture may shock you. Wait, you're not behind me? Wait, no. Dude, what the fuck? I saw a silhouette of someone wearing a hat on this doorway. Dude, I heard fucking footsteps on the wood. Yeah. I swear to God, there was like someone standing over my shoulder for like a second. Wait, 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 stop, 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 stop. Hey, long time no see. Uh, before we get into this video, I just want to say this video, we were only there for two hours at this location. So this video is going to be what's called a blitz investigation. Basically, we had no time to really shoot B-roll. We had no time to really go over the history. It was just go there, set up, unpack, film, get out. Okay, so that's all we had time for. So this video is going to be very short because we we're only there for two hours, but we capture some of the best evidence I think we've ever captured on the SLS and auditory right from the get-go. So this place was very, very active, but we, you know, we're only there for a short amount of time. So without further ado, I'm gonna let you go back into the video and I just want to explain that. All right, peace. Bye. Enjoy. Our schoolhouse location. When the Union soldiers were coming into town, uh, they would sit out front here and watch as the soldiers went by. Um, we do get a lot of activity out here by this pump that's out here. Um, we also have a lot of activity out in the back. There's a, a cavalry battle that happened out there. Um, so we do pick up a lot of activity outside of the back. Uh, we also get, um, there's a guy named Dick in here, and he can be a real dick, so no pun intended. Sometimes he uses vulgar language, um, believe him to be one of the soldiers here, and then we have a doctor, um, and then we also have school children that like to show themselves. Uh, we'll show you a picture of that. This was a group that we had out. Do you see anything in this? No, this is the door we just walked through, but do you see anything in this picture, anything at all that you can see? Uh, Looks like there's something in the window. The right. Yes, there is. Right there is a face. Oh, jeez. I see what you're talking about now. What the heck? That's crazy. So I just want to let you guys know, we're going to be taking photos from the outside in to see if we can capture any figures. If you pan around, everyone is outside, including our guide. Everyone is accounted for. We have lights on the inside, so we don't use a flash, so it creates a glare on the glass. And we're just going to be taking pictures inside the window to see if we can capture any uh, figures, and we're going to go in and investigate. I also have the... Uh, Ivyless running right now. We're also going to be setting up some trap cameras outside see if we can capture anything. That's that nuke's top five line. But what they capture next may shock you. Just moments before we go out to take photos of the windows outside, I am left alone within the schoolhouse. I then tried and call out the negative spirit named Dick, and I would like the audience to know that I only do this for spirits who are deserving to be called out. This is Yes. Yes. Finally. Other teams 
that get it. I said this for those of you guys that did not see my Blood Moon reaction that I mentioned in there about how I truly feel like this whole idea behind you must always be respectful of the dead no matter what because they are dead you should respect them no that that's bs right if dick wants to be a dick then he's gonna be treated like a dick you know what i'm saying and no yeah but yes actually yes enough of that enough with this <laughs> Yes, I agree. This is obviously a schoolhouse and filled with child spirits as well, and I would never, ever be mean or negative to any child spirits or any spirits that are known to be nice. I only call out the negative, mean, and evil spirits. There is anyone in here with me. I'm completely alone and defenseless. There's a dick. If you want to scare the shit out of me, I'm gonna scare the shit out of you. Just your time, but. I don't know what your deal is, I don't know why you make people, you're mean to people, but I don't know I'm cool with that, man. So go ahead, do something, make a noise. So I ain't gonna tolerate that shit. I don't use vulgar language, I don't care. Go ahead, I'm scared. I'm not afraid. Wait, you're not behind me? Me? No. Dude, what the fuck? You okay, man? What? I, I did not enter. Those are always the creepiest sounds. When you hear footsteps walking up behind you and you turn around and no one's there. That has happened to me more times than I'd like to admit. To this room. Get me the fuck out of here. That's not cool. That's not cool. Just then, you can clearly hear heavy boots walking on the wooden floor, slowly approaching me from behind. This cannot be Aiden because he is wearing sneakers, and you can hear his footsteps in the clip. I cannot enter this room. Could this be Dick trying to scare me after I provoked him? I heard fucking footsteps on the wood. Walking up behind me. Like, like, oh, listen to this. Listen to this. That might have been me over here. I kind of came over No, here. I heard it behind me. Here, over here. I don't want to jump to conclusions yet, but, you know, I mean, he said it's hidden with that room. Yeah, but no, no, I heard it behind me. I do like that. The fact that he said he didn't want to jump to conclusions yet and just automatically assume it's paranormal. I really do like that. The best way which they may do this here in a second, but just in case they don't, the best way for them to try and debunk this would be for Sean to basically go back over there, act like he's messing with the blinds again, but you don't really have to just stand in the corner and have, I can't for the life of me remember the other guy's name, but his partner walk in the other room just to see what it sounds like and then compare the two audios. That's probably the best way to f try and debunk it and if the audio don't match up then the audio don't match up but i will agree boots and sneakers definitely have a different sound to them boots are more reverby bassy like that and then sneakers well we heard that also it's a lighter sound i'm i'm closing this blind in. Did you hear it like here, where I am now? Like that? Yeah. Well, I want to get, since that's pretty uh, quick and strong, 
Well, uh, well, I was in here for a little bit by myself. And I was telling Dick that he, it, like, I don't rock with him being mean to people, oh. and that it's oh, kind of an asshole I mean. thing to do. <laughs> so I was kind of calling him out on his, on no. his shit. Do we even know if he was a cons uh, confederate, con confederate or union? Uh, I don't know. How often do people hear footsteps here? I was closing the blinds and Aiden was out in this common room, but I heard like, I had my, my back to, to the door, closing the blinds and I have this camera in my hand, so it's taking me a little while with one arm. And I hear like, like, slow footsteps like just come in behind me in that room right there in, in the uh in the room that you said you don't get a lot of activity in this this left room right here oh, really? yeah aiden's walking around here and he walks into this room i think and i'm in this room closing that blind and i hear like slow approaching footsteps like in this doorway right here and I hear, and then I hear Aiden talk. He sounds like he's not far away from me. I assumed Aiden walked in, so I didn't give a shit. And I turned around, and there is nothing there. And I'm like, I hope the camera captured it, but it was, it was weird. That freaked me out, man. I don't, I don't know. I maybe uh, it could be. I don't know. It's hard to say. I mean, nothing else was there. No, I mean, he was in the other room. The only possible thing was like, his footsteps kind of like carried over into the room. I. I I don't know. We split up into two teams. Aiden and I went to the room where Dick resides, and Ethan, Joey, and Aaron went into the main room to attempt to communicate with the child spirits that are known to roam the building. If that was you... See what I'm saying about how he takes more of like a mysterious approach to it? Seven months ago in his other video, it was, it was a little bit different, if that makes sense. It was a little bit more like in your face kind of mysterious if i don't i can't find the right words to use it it wasn't i don't i'm just gonna stop <laughs> just gonna stop before i dig myself a hole no i i'm sure you guys get what i'm saying like he uses like the and then what had happened was the ghost came and slapped me on the booty just right on the left cheek and i really wish it would have been the right why didn't he do the right? We will never know. Kind of. <laughs> also, yes, I'm a little tired. It's past three o'clock in the morning. I do have three kids, so I have to, if I'm doing anything at the house, it has to be at night. I can edit and stuff during the day, kind of, because I kind of <laughs> watch the, them uh, or keep an eye on them during the daytime, make sure they don't kill each other and blah, 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 blah. So the only time I can film is at night when they're sleeping. So I got to get as much filming done as possible. So I'll be up like all night just doing these. To the left of, or to the right of the chair near the desk, uh, can you please try to push the balloon and move it or touch one of the, uh, one of the toy balls we have here and make it light up? I will say what I like to do with SLS cameras because I do have one that's actually sitting over there on that shelf. I don't know if you can see it. Yep. Their worst nemesis. Chairs are an SLS camera's worst nemesis. It's not picking up on the chair. I don't know what it's actually picking up on. It could be a spirit. It could not be. But what I like to do to try to debunk these, like, with what's there, I'll ask it like, hey, if there's really a spirit there and this camera is really picking up on you, can you wave at me or can you jump up and down? Can you get lower? Can you get higher? Can you disappear then come back? Even if like you just sit there and you say, hey, can you wave at me? And next thing you know, you see this thing lift its little stick figure arm up and 
Hi, how's it going? I mean, come on now. You, it's kind of paranormal then. It's moving. It's right next to the It looks like it's trying to touch the ball. Yeah, it kind of is, but it's behind the chair. Why don't we move the balloon and the ball on the floor? Sure. Yep, we're going to move the uh, this toy ball and this balloon down to the ground. Oh. What is on, what, what is that? I don't know. I think it's on the door. No, ask it to do something. Can you reach your hand out from the door further into the room? Can you move from the door to the chair in front of me? Touch that, but that one off. Can you move your hands? Can you, can you walk? Can you walk over to the other side of the room? Oh, it went off again. The arm just extended, hella. Can you walk to the chair, please? That's in front of you. You're not scared of moving in the Mm-hmm. Yeah, you getting that? Somewhat. Mm -hmm. Wait, yo, 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 figure's in the chair. Can you come here, Aiden? Yeah, or Aaron? That's Sean. But look, the figure's in the chair now. When we asked it to move to the chair. Oh, crap. Trying to get off the chair. Can you kick the balloon? Yeah, I don't know where the balloon is. The balloon is... Can you reach your leg out and kick that balloon? It's trying to. I think it is. Keeping the night vision on right now. Alright, I won't lie, it really does actually look like something is trying to kick the balloon. At first, I wasn't going to say nothing because I promised, I mean, I don't know, I kind of feel like, I don't know, it's like a sticky situation. I don't want to be like negative and just be like, nah, that's not the, it's not the spirit, homie, that's the chair. The deal is it very well could be the chair. Even though they think it's a spirit, the way I look at it is they're doing a good job, basically debunking without even trying to debunk if that makes sense uh so that's got to count for something like they believe that that's a spirit sitting in the chair i kind of believe that it's just the sls camera picking up on the chair but they kind we're kind of meeting in the middle because they asked the spirit that's sitting in the chair if it you know whether or not it's a spirit but they're still asking like can you kick the balloon so with that being said if that balloon actually does get kicked and they capture that on SLS camera, that kind of invalidates my opinion and validates their opinion on that being a spirit because, well, I mean, it wouldn't be an opinion, it would be a fact then because they just captured it on SLS camera and the balloon just goes flying, you know what I'm saying? So I'm sure you guys get it. My opinion is I feel like whatever they're picking up on in the chair is just that, the chair which this is actually exactly why I hardly use an SLS camera because doors and chairs, not so much doors, but chairs for freaking sure, just for whatever reason, always get picked up as a freaking spirit or stick figure or whatever on an SLS camera and it's so annoying. It looks really warped, like it's bending over. Can you move that balloon in front of you? falling out of the chair now trying no i really do agree it literally looks like it is trying i know i'm kind of like 75 percent thinking it's the chair um because you got to think about it 
is picking up on the chair or could be picking up on the chair but it only gets stick figures you know what i'm saying so full stick figures you know two legs a body two arms and a head so with that being said it could be picking up on the chair but it's got to give it legs and all this kind of stuff because you can't just get half stick figures you know what i'm saying so that could be it and that's why it's getting all like smushy and stuff like that but at the same time like i said if if it actually hits the balloon then that's got to count for something you know what i'm saying so i don't know hopefully i am wrong i would like to be wrong actually because if i am then they just got an incredible piece of evidence but it's just sadly sls cameras are so expensive but they aren't the greatest when it comes to evidence because it's just it's really hard to prove if that makes sense unless you capture it hitting a balloon on camera then you can't deny it you're doing really good can you keep trying for me can you just touch it move it in any way If that's too difficult for you, could you walk to the glass desk behind you? Did you guys hear footsteps back there? I didn't hear anything. I hear something. Oh, no, it might have been the two. Yeah, it could have been them. People. Oh, shit. Yeah. Wait, it's moving. It doesn't even look human, though, anymore. Joe Calder. <laughs> It's like reaching its hand out for the desk. Can you reach your hand out and try to hit one of the uh, toy balls we have set up around? Close to it. It doesn't have a head anymore, which is freaky. To triangle. <laughs> oh, it's like the, the leg is on the balloon. Oh, the blue moved. Did it? A little bit. I think. Its leg just reached out and touched the balloon. I think the balloon moved. We would have to rewatch it, but I think I saw it go side to side. Can you do that again? Can you try kicking the balloon one more time? I swear to God, I just saw it move, but I think I was tripping. <laughs> he was indeed tripping. So you can touch that red light in the middle of the room, or on the side of the room right there. You can make change the lights, you can do all sorts of things. So let's play, let's play a game. Max. Max, I mean, it's getting like. It's possibly. Possibly, like possibly, can it, can they touch it? Um. Real Joe. Real Joe. We got Joe on the ovulus here. Can you say our names? Oh, Again, I'm Aiden, that's Sean. Also, this is a, a very good time to point out, and this has nothing to do with them at all. This is something to do with the ovulus. Uh, there's a lot of people that will go to the grave, no pun intended, swearing up and down that an ovulus is going to give you accurate responses. And oh, and like they'll trust ovuluses until the day they die. But then they will sit there and trash talk phone apps like Spirit Talker that's literally designed to do exactly what that ovulus is doing and sometimes does it better. Now, am I saying they are dumb for buying an ovulus? No, it's their money. Who am I to tell them how to spend it? But what I am saying is that more than likely they bought it so people would stop giving them crap about using a phone app. And I could be wrong, who knows? But like I said, it's, it's just, yes, you can get 
unintelligent responses and random words out, an ov out of an ovulus also. The only difference is an ovulus is $500. The Spirit Talker app is $3.99. $3.99. So, yeah. Yeah. You got your name on the Yeah. Joe. Joe Plan Waves. You want me to come over there or? No, you're not that. It's on the floor. Yeah, no, it's, it's not even in the chair anymore. You it's might have on just the got floor. The move. Really? I, I swore I saw it move side to side. But I. Yeah. yeah. Oh. It's about to touch the balloon. It's trying really hard. You're doing really good. Good job. Uh, no, maybe you should film this since, like, you got the middle. No. Oh, shit. This dick here. You know, I, I came in this building, I was by myself. Jeez. Is that them? Was that banging you? What? Was that banging you? No. No. Huh. You heard that, right? Yeah, it was very loud. This knocking sound was neither Ethan, Aaron, or Joey. Here's their point of view during the knocking. Was that bang you? What? Was that bang you? No. No. Let's go, let's go. Let's get All right. Yeah, there was just a orb when you said, as soon as that bang happened, there was an orb that shot down by your head. Like I said, might be dust, but might be something else. It was very loud. What the fuck could that have been? This area might be the better area to hang out. Door? Yeah, I don't know about that. That doesn't. I'm... Keep going. Hold on, I don't want. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sure. Are you good? Is that it? It was louder than that. Yeah, it was like that. Do I think? I think something pounded on this door. Yeah. I was just talking to Dick, right? I was just saying, you know, Dick, when I came in here, right? That's yeah. what I was saying. And what did the what did the tour guide say today when we when we first got here? What did he say? That Dick is a dick. Not only <laughs> Dick is a dick, but he likes to bang on the walls and shit in here. All right. And this is where they capture him the most, talk to him the most. Dick, was that you banging on the door? You fucking hear that? Did you hear that? I really dig how excited he gets. It's actually, it just shows you how into this he really gets, if that makes sense. Um, Honestly, I, I really don't feel like he's over-exaggerating. I feel like that's just his character, if that makes sense. Because he's not screaming or hollering and jumping around or nothing. He's excited. And, which I, I really dig it. No? Oh. Wait. Oh, what the fuck? What are you getting? Dude, something's banging out here, right? Yeah. Tell me. Uh, uh, Ethan just sighed. Like, like breathe. Not sighed, like, good sigh. He's crazy. Huh? This knock was also not them. Here's their footage. How about we ask for it to be Did you hear that? No. no. Um. Could you maybe move to the glass desk behind you and stand up straight, if that's at all possible? It looks like it's trying to move. Could you stand up straight, if that's at all possible for you? Ooh, you On saw command. It. You saw it. On command, it stands up straight. Thank you. I'm trying to get both in the shot. Standing up a lot straighter now. 
Oh, it's gone. Gone. Maybe I was wrong. I don't know. The deal is, if it was the chair or something like I've been saying, you would think it would have stayed there. You know what I'm saying? But then it just ups and, like, just disappears. And it's not like they moved the camera and brought it back. It just disappeared. So that is definitely my my belief scale on that has definitely gone up. It's more like 50-50 now instead of 75-25. 75 disbelief, 25 belief. It's now more of 50-50. Maybe even like 60-40 as far as 60 belief, 40 disbelief. Because I just can't explain why. Not unless like the camera up and realize, oh wait, that's not a person. And then, you know what I'm saying? Which is a possibility. But just like how somebody can be reaching, you know, like, oh, you thought that was a ghost, man, you're reaching. That's, that ain't no ghost. Someone trying to debunk it could also be reaching. Like, man, you're reaching too much. Just accept it. It was a ghost. You know what I'm saying? So maybe I am reaching too much as to trying to debunk it. But I don't know. That that was that was definitely odd. Holy shit, it's back it's back at the glass counter. Can you feel this job? Yeah. I asked it to move to the glass counter earlier and it's back on the glass counter. Oh my God. It looks like it's walking. Are you are you reaching? Oh it's gone. Go up on the door sorry. Can you show up on the door now? On command as I say door, it shows up on the door. That's Oh, there's Wait, two. There's two. They're multiplying now. Holy shit. There's two entities with us. If you could please touch the ball on the next to the door, can you please do that? Just touch it. Try to roll it. You can. Like it's Look, are you filming this? Right, yeah. It's it just walked over to the chair from the glass. It was fully on the glass, and it it's it walked over to the chair, and now it's gone. I sitting. The second entity that just moved from the glass. I don't know if that was the spirit box or not, but I, I swear. Heard I heard yeah, they're like. Yeah. I heard that. I think that might have been Aiden, but I don't. Yo, know. Aiden. Yo, what's up? Did you make a weird noise? Eh, not really. I've just been talking. Like a gurgling or some shit? I don't think so. I was just talking. The weird sound that Ethan, Joey, and Aaron captured was not Aiden. Here's this footage. So if there's something you got, you got to say to us, please. Can you show yourself in the chair now? You know. Talking to. Can you show yourself? That Ethan, Joey, and Aaron captured was not Aiden. Here's this footage. So if there's something you got, you got to say to us, please. You know, talking to our devices, talk to those guys over in the other room, you know, interact with that, you know, yo, what's up? Eh, not really, I've just been talking. It's, yeah, it, if, did it, to you guys, did it sound like, I heard, yeah, they're like, from the glass. It was fully on the glass and it it's it walked over to the chair and now it's gone. I sitting. The second entity that just moved from the glass. It walked over to the chair and now it's gone. I sitting. The second entity that just what moved from the glass. I don't know if that was the spirit. So what I was listening for is if you listen Make a weird noise. I don't think so. I was just talking. Really, I've just been talking. Did you make a weird? I think that might have been Aiden, but I don't. Yo, know. Aiden. Yo, what's up? Did you make a weird noise? Eh, not really. I've just been talking. Like a gurgling or some shit. I don't think so. I was just talking. The weird sound that Ethan, Joey, and Aaron captured was not Aiden. Here's this footage. So if there's something you got, you gotta say to us, please.
I don't know if they noticed that. That was in the middle of him talking, though, so I don't even think that was him that made that sound. There's like a, mm, if that makes sense, hold and listen. I, I'm going to do this, and then as soon as I hear it, I'm going to point. Captured was not Aiden. Here's this footage. So if there's something you got, you got to say to us, please. Can you show yourself That wasn't the same sound, and that was in the middle of him talking. So, and they didn't point that out. So I just, I wonder what that, what that was actually, because unless there was someone else in there with him that made that sound and that's why they didn't point it out or they could have just missed it. But that is, that is definitely odd because that's not the same sound and there's no way their cameras in that room and around the corner would have picked up on him doing that. They didn't pick up on his voice also, you know. Talking to our devices, talk to those guys over in the other room. You know, yo, what's up? Did you make a weird eh, not really. I've just been talking. It's, yeah. It, if to, did it to you guys? Pause. I need to go get me something to drink real quick. That. Guys, did it sound like over in that yeah, doorway? It in that room, like yeah. Near the stairs. Should we go? You wanna go check it out quick? Oh. Uh oh. That's just died. Oh, it could have been men right behind it. No. Because it sounded like it was from over No, we there. can't hear them. Yeah, that sounded like okay. It's dead. What? My SLS just died. And we were we were capturing two separate entities at once on camera, on screen. Really like moving off the map? We see like things got trying to ask them like moving. Yeah, I was no. So Yank pause like yank! Eat it! Like a yank! It says yank homicide, like Yankee. Look at that. Hmm. Sean. What? After that, all communication stopped. So as a last ditch effort before we left, we tried the spirit box. I can see exactly why he would think that. But it could also be something else like yank yeah it could be like yankee or it could quite literally mean like yoink like yank you know what i'm saying so i don't know May maybe it did try to say yankee who knows but let's see what the spirit box says i see you got a picture of jesus on there Dude, I feel like I'm gonna look back behind me and just see someone standing there. There was just an orb that went up right over there. Very strange. Who's that in that painting? Can you tell me his name? Sounds like it said I did. You praying here? What was that? It either said I did or I do. That's what I personally heard. You hear that? Yeah. It sounded like madness or something. Magic, maybe? Magic? Is this a magic room? Is magic? It sounded like you praying here? What was that? Now that he said magic, I kind of hear magic. 
but I just wonder if that's not like audio pareidolia, which me hearing I do or I did could have also been audio pareidolia because maybe my subconscious was looking for that, if that makes sense. So that's what I heard. So I don't know. But it's ironic because since he said magic, now I kind of hear magic also. That. You hear that? Yeah. Sound like madness or something. Magic, maybe? Magic? Is this a magic room? You come closer to me so you can hear this clear. Like bring your you can bring your chair over if you want. Yo. I think my dad just passed by. What was that? He did it say got it? I don't know. Yo. I think my dad just passed by. Dude, no fucking way. What? What was that? Okay, 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 okay. Okay, that's my guy. I saw a silhouette of someone wearing a hat on this doorway. And Yo, I'm not gonna lie, man. We're getting voices. No, Sean, listen, bro. What? When I, when I stood up, when I went over to this window almost, yeah. I swear to God, there was like someone standing over my shoulder for like a second and then... You and then, need to get SOS in here. no, like right here, yeah. And then, and then I like turn over. I was like, I was like, oh, what's up? To you, I mean, I don't know if I saw. I just, it was really weird, man. I, I kind of like felt it Do in this sort get... of area. I, I don't know. It was very, very. Uh, I don't know. My heart. I'm not gonna be commenting on that, even though I know some of you guys are probably waiting on me to. You can't have an opinion on feelings if that makes sense he could be telling the truth or he could be lying i don't think he is lying if that makes sense but who am i to tell me that he is lying he says he could have swore like he felt it he is not me so and i am not him so i can't tell you if he actually did or not that's basically up for you guys to decide if you believe him or not like i said in the very first one with the boozy bros and paranormal wasteland you can't invalidate just like you can't validate someone's feelings if that makes sense it's kind of interesting that he felt felt that kind of stopped for a second and then you know we're getting some responses on on a spirit box but like 89 will start feeling shit i just want you to shoot this room Aiden, come in here Aiden was sitting in this chair right here and he thought he saw someone standing behind him. Like, no, like right here where I am. Like, I don't, I don't know, I just saw like a weird See sort of pressure that I sort of kind of saw, sort of kind of felt out of the corner of my eye. It was really freaky. All right, we're going to resume the spirit box. Keep talking, okay? Yeah, we want to hear what you have to say. Can you tell me your name? I want to be your friend. Would you want to be my friend? I have plenty of toys and things to offer you. We captured a real clear voice earlier. Hey, remember that? The magic or something like that? Yeah, yeah. That was clear. We haven't got anything like that since. Hi, did you hear that? I, I just heard hi. I wasn't paying attention. Hi, how are you? Who are we talking to? Can you tell me your name? Who are we talking to?
back the next morning to take drone shots and some pictures in the windows in hopes of capturing a spirit's photo. Little did we know that's exactly what we did. Out of the many photos taken, we captured a photo of what looks like a little girl peeking out of the top right corner of the window. The McCurdy Schoolhouse was one of the most active places I've ever been in Gettysburg, and if you want us to go back, let us know in the comments. I know you're editing this, Sean. Have fun editing this. Honestly, overall opinion is that they're solid. They may use some things that I don't exactly like, like the SLS camera, but that doesn't mean that they aren't good investigators, if that makes sense. I think that they have a lot of potential they they're humorous they're respectful they have the energy for sure honestly they're really not bad i don't know if you guys want to see more a link to this video and their channel will be in the description below go show them some love let's try to run their numbers up let's try to get them to a thousand they're at i think 700 just keep in mind if you guys do decide to go check them out remember that you could consider yourself like a day one so once they do blow up and they learn how to do this and that and they get comfortable like completely comfortable and used and they have years experience then you can say i've been watching you guys since you guys were smaller look how far you guys have came so look at it that way personally I think one day they would get there. They have the drive. They have the determination. All right. Well, as always, thank you guys for watching. If you haven't yet, please subscribe. If you want to help me in reaching a wider, broader audience, please like and comment on the video. That helps out a lot more. Also, one of the best free ways to support a channel. Y'all have a good rest of your night. I'm signing off.